Hello guys, welcome to a new video from Digital Pages in the Minitab series. In this video, I'm going to talk about two most commonly used techniques for investigating the relationship between two quantitative variables correlation and linear regression. So here we're going to talk about two variables. The first variable is an X, which is the independent variable. And the second variable is a Y, which is the dependent variable. Correlation quantifies the strength of the linear relationship between these two variables, whereas regression expresses the relationship in the form of an equation. All right, let's look at a simple example now to understand these two concepts. I'm trying to establish the relationship between price of a list of commodities versus the unit sold for each of these commodities. For example, a price of a commodity 1 is $20 and I have sold 40 units of this commodity 1. Let's look at another example, uh, commodity 5. The price of the commodity is $22 and we have sold 27 of them. I want to establish is there any relationship between the price and the unit sold? So I'm going to use a formula here, even though the formula looks complicated, but it's not really so complicated. Let me try and simplify this for you. So I have a table here which lists the price and the units sold. Price is obviously the X and unit sold is Y. I'm going to do some simple calculations. One is XY. Uh, which is multiplying x and y. So I'm going to multiply x with y. Okay, and I'm just going to copy and paste this formula across all 10 commodities. And the next on the table is x square. For that I use a simple formula. I just select x and use the square from the keyboard and I put 2 all right then the next calculations I'm going to put y square so I'm going to take y and do a square okay and I'm just going to add all these values here so sigma x is going to be a sum of the price of these commodities and I'm just going to copy and paste this formula here right if you see now I have the sigma x from the formula. I have sigma y, sigma xy, sigma x square, sigma y square. Now let's try and apply these numbers which I've calculated to the formula here. n is nothing but the total number of commodities. So I put n which is 10 here. And sigma xy which I pick up from here, 21764 minus 371 which is the sigma x and sigma y is the sum of y that's right here and divided by square root of 10 sigma x squared which is 16297 you pick up this value from here minus here sigma x squared means you pick up sigma x which is the sum of the values of all the x and then you put a square to that value which is what you include here in this formula multiplied by 10 into sigma y square which is 30160 you pick up that value from here minus sigma y and then squares which is 520 square if you try and solve this entire set of formula and values you would get something like this 0 0.87935 which is the R value. So the Pearson correlation coefficient value which is R is equal to 0 0.87935. You don't need to calculate the correlation this way. If you have an Excel sheet, it's quite simple. You just uh, look for a function called C-O-R-R-E-L and just search here you will find the c-o-r-r-e-l just select that and in the array one select the first 
set of values and in the array 2 select your next set of value do not include the sum okay so your formulas are set and if i click ok you will get the same value here 0 0.8793 right which is nothing but your correlation coefficient value another way to do it is obviously mini tab you can just copy the set of values and just go to mini tab paste it here and go to stat basic stats click on correlation and just select both the variables into this column and if you see here you have Pearson correlation method which is selected and just click OK there you go you have the uh, R value here which is 0 0.879 now what does this 0 0.879 actually mean if you've seen my previous video we did the scatter plot and we had two variables X and Y and when you plot these values if the graph looks something like this this means there is a strong positive correlation and how much of correlation actually exists between these two variables is solved by looking at this particular value 0 0.879 the correlation between two variables is always between minus 1 when there is a very strong negative correlation and when there is a strong positive correlation this is plus 1 so the relationship between two variables is always between minus 1 and plus 1 and when there is no correlation between these two variables the relationship will be 0 okay so from our example we've got 0 0.879 which is close to 90 percent which is almost close to 1 right so that falls somewhere here 0 0.879 this indicates there is a strong positive correlation between x and y right so when x increases y also increases but on the other side if my value was minus 0 0.879 that would have fallen somewhere here 0. Point. what does that indicate between x and y there is a negative correlation let's now explore simple linear regression the formula for linear regression is y is equal to a plus bx now if I have a value for x I can actually determine what the value of y is now there are two things a and b so there is a formula for calculating b which is similar to the formula that we did for correlation and if you have b you can also determine the a there is a formula which you can use now applying these two formula for the values that we already have and we will get a as 15.79 and b as 0 0.97 so my equation would be y is equal to 15.79 plus 0 0.97 x the next step i'm going to do is i'm going to calculate the y for each of the value x's from the data that we already have so i look at the price and units sold and i just copy the entire table here and i have to come up with the value y so i apply the form formula i apply this equation here to get the calculated y so y is equal to 15.79 plus 0.97 x so for example if i take the first x which is 20 if i put this formula here so y is equal to 15.79 plus 0.97 multiplied by 20 i get 35.19 just copy and paste that formula in all these cells so that I get the calculated y value for each and every x that is mentioned in my data. Then I take a difference between the calculated y and the actual y. Nothing but the difference between the unit sold price which is y minus the calculated value of y. So that gives us 4.81. Just copy and paste that entire formula here I get the residual value for 
each of the x's and y's okay now i want to do the same analysis on the minitab so i copy and paste the entire data into minitab and in order to find the regression i go to start i go to regression i first select the fitted line plot and i just select type of regression model which is linear and you can also go and select some options from graph what do you want to see what are the options you would like to see the slope of this particular line is b the point at which this line meets y is basically a now using this equation with any specific value of x you can calculate y and you see another value here which is called r square r square is showing us 77.3 percent this is nothing but the square of r in we already calculated the r was 0.87 if you take a square of this value you will get 77.3 which is r square so here r square is a coefficient of determination that tells us 77 percent of the unit sold is contributed by price and remaining 23 percent might be from other factors i hope you guys like this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button